Could you please give us some advice for learning to pray and develop a relationship with God in this busy, noisy world? That's a wonderful, um, wonderful question. The only way to learn to pray is to pray. Let me say that again. <laughs> the only way to learn to pray is to pray. So first thing you have to do is say, I take 10 minutes of every day and kind of put it on the schedule. Know where those 10 minutes are because you've got school, you've got sports, you've got social commitments, some of you have jobs. So unless you say to yourself, 10 minutes here are going to be sacred time, probably you won't pray. Now you pray every Sunday at mass. That's what Christ asks us to do, to come together on the Lord's day, the day of his resurrection and celebrate the Eucharist together. There we enter into the church's prayer, which is the best prayer. But in order to make that important, to you know, understand what's going on and to, to pray during mass, you have to spend some time praying alone. You know, it's, it's, it's a friendship. Prayer is a way to be friends with God. And if you're friends, you want to be spending time with people. You can't just you know, Facebook somebody and say, I'm your friend, and you never spend any time with them. Then it's just curiosity. And it can even be manipulation. Friendship comes when people spend time together. Friendship with God comes when you spend time with God. That's called prayer, prayer time. You don't earn anything from it, you don't get any money. God may or may not seem to be around. But if consistently you spend 10 minutes a day trying to pray and just consecrate that time, to get into that, you might stop for a moment Think who you are, think about God, and then say very slowly the Our Father, the prayer the Lord taught us, and the Hail Mary. So Mary will be with you as you pray. And then after that, sometimes it helps to use a verse of scripture, sometimes not. Bring the needs of your heart before the Lord. The Lord knows them, but he wants you to bring them to him. And then in that bringing to the Lord the needs that you feel, eventually you purify your heart. If you can't ask God for something, if you can't pray about it, you shouldn't want it. You can't ask God to help you rob a bank, can you? No. So therefore, you shouldn't rob a bank. You know, if you can't pray about, you shouldn't do. So if 10 minutes a day, you say the Lord's Prayer and think about, get your, calm yourself down, and then bring what's in your heart to the Lord. And sometimes you feel very close to him, he sees to that. Sometimes you don't, you think you're talking to yourself. But nonetheless, if there's a habit, it'll, it'll grow. Maybe sometime you'll want to spend a little more time in prayer, it depends. Or sometimes you can't quite spend 10 minutes. But think about 10 minutes, or even five. But some time that's explicitly given to God, so that you can have a friendship. Otherwise, you know a lot about God. You have your catechism lessons and the rest. You know a lot about religion. But unless you're spending time with the Lord, it's just abstract. It doesn't mean anything, and pretty soon you forget it. So in order to give some substance to what you're being taught and in order to keep yourself rooted in God, you've got to spend time on the relationship. It's a relationship like anything else. God is not some impersonal cosmic force, a great glob. God is personal. And we have a name that gives us access to God in Jesus. Whatever you ask the Father for in my name, he will give you. A name is a passport. You know, if you have somebody's name, you can talk. And Jesus gives us a name. There are many, many people for centuries, even in the Old Testament, who didn't have a name when they talked to God. We have a name. So use it. In the name of Christ our Lord, we pray. And that gives you access. You know how it is. If somebody won't tell you what's your name, you know, I went down the line, what's your name? If somebody said, I'm not going to give you my name, well, that's the end of that. But to give you a name, there's an opening. And so we have a name for God, for <clears throat> access to the Father. So uh, use it. So you pray in Jesus' name, you pray his prayer, do it slowly, and then you open up your heart. Lord, I'm having a terrible time. Help me with my exams today. Bless my mother who has cancer. Bless my father who's in the military. Whatever, you know, bring it all there and then open your heart to God. And uh, sometimes you'll feel very close to God in prayer. Sometimes you won't in any relationship. You know, some days it's good, some days it's not so good. But it's there all the time. That's what prayer does. Thank you.